Hey everyone, Rich and Bree here, back for part 3 of Titanic 2 tutorial. Mm-hmm, and today's focus is the ship's forecastle, stern deck, and I think three or four decks of the ship's superstructure. Judging by my notes, I don't actually know how much it's going to be, but <coughs> hey, here we go. You okay, Bree? Mm-hmm, yeah. are you okay? I am, so it's just going to be me building today. <laughs> You're welcome, honey. Just me building today. Uh, Bree's doing her pixel art, but she's here in the background. Hi, Bree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so, <coughs> what we're going to start on first is the ship's forecastle, which is the raised deck on the front there. And we've already got the white section of the forecastle done, so what we're going to do, go down to the, the first block of the forecastle, which is down here, and we're going to add, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to add one white block in the middle here. So just below that first block, which is higher than the rest, put a, a white block behind that, one block down there. And then from there, <coughs> we're going to add. 65 no 63 wood blocks back so that's the first block there and i can't i won't count it but i'll measure as i go along so i want 63 back so the first block is measured so i just want six 63 wood blocks back oh missed a few so how far is that that is 59 so 50, 60 61 62 63 <coughs> to there so 63 there plus a color block to mark the center and then you go out to the side, which is, uh, well, basically just out to the sides because there's no, uh, no boundary there. So you just go all the way out to the side of the ship, like so, until you get to the outside edge like that. And then build down to the white box below, like so. And that will mark the end of the forecastle deck like that. And then just build this side section in like that. There we go. Do the same the other side. Build out to the side like so. And then join together at the side like that. And there we go. Fill in the gap there. And there we go. There's the folks all lined up. Um, the wall underneath here. What we're going to do is add a yellow line underneath. So the bottom. So this basically this wall here. Just fill this in with white. <coughs> fill, fill all this in with white like that. And then let's add the yellow line at the bottom. I'll do the white bit in a minute. Just add the yellow line first. Like so. And then the rest to fill in with white like that. So I just used welded it for that one. Like so, so set quartz like that, and there we go, that's all filled in. And the next thing you need to do, just fill in the deck, so it's all going to be just wood in this area. Uh, not sure about the auxiliary anchor at the front end, I don't know if we should add that one because this ship is kind of a modern thing rather than a retro thing, so we'll, we'll think about adding the anchor later on, but for, for now, we'll just add the deck, like so, and that's all the Basically, it's all just wood like that. So what I'll do, I'll do a quick jump cut while I saw that come out. <coughs> and then uh, return in just a moment. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the deck all added there on the forecastle. And it should, in theory, look something like that. Um, also got the straight wall on the back there. I know this isn't accurate to the real ship, or at least the real original Titanic, because it's meant to have indentations and doors. But as this is a fictional ship, I thought, fuck it, I'll just leave it blank like that. So that's a straight wall. If you want to make changes to that, by all means, you can. I'm not, so there we go. So that's the folks all done there. Uh, we'll leave it as it is and we'll do more details on that another day. So what we're going to do now is go down to the back of the ship and do the uh, the uh, the raised deck on the stern. Um, you okay, honey? Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. So what we're going to do we'll go down to the back end, um, which is the same process as before. So go back, go down to the center block on the back, and from there we're going to add. 53 wood blocks back or 53 wood blocks forward so go from the center put the first block there on the top of the white and we want 53 so that's one already and oh, missed one and we want 53 so like i said i just do this as usual just fill it in no I'm not bother measuring it just count it or not count it oh gone too far that should be 53 of it. Yeah, 53, and then you want to put a uh, color block in the center, like so. And then what you do from there, just build out to the side. So I don't know how many exactly, just build all the way out to the yellow line on the side, like so, and then down to the yellow line, like that. And then you've got a gap between the white section and the white wall we just built, so just fill that in on the side, like so. And then do the same the other side. that and then down like that and then fill in the side like so and there we go that's the stern area done there and then as before like we did on the front wall 
I'm going to build a white wall here and then add a yellow line at the bottom, so I'll add the yellow line first. And it's just going to be another flat wall again. Because I can't be bothered to do all the uh, um, do all the details because I don't know what they are on the ship because it's a fictional one. Oh, I say it's fiction. It is meant to be a real ship, but you know, it's not been built yet, so it's hard to say what it's going to be. As of now, it's a fictional ship. There we go. So that's that done. That's the white wall filled in there. And then what we want to do now is just fill this all in with wood, all the way around and everything should be fine. So I think I can use world edit for this bit. If I crash the server Brie, I do apologise, but it shouldn't be too bad. So I use fill wood by 200. There we go. That's one uh, bit done. I hope you don't. No. <laughs> Oop. Didn't, didn't crash at that bit. And then do the same on the other side. And there we go. So I did do this with the front half, but I did it off camera in case I did crash the server. But as I didn't, I thought I'd do it this way. So there we go. So the server's all fine Brie. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And there we go, that's a bit done there. So what I'm going to do now, that's that's the, the forecastle and the, the stern deck done there. So what I'll do now, I'll do another jump cut while I work out what to do next, then we shall return in just a moment. Okay, back again. Uh, what we're going to do now is move on to the beginnings of the superstructure. And we're going to start on the front wall of the first deck of the superstructure. So we'll go down to those two white pillars that were built in part two, I think. And what we're going to do is join them together across the front. So we're going to put a yellow line first. So go from the yellow line at the bottom to the yellow line at the other side. So add a, add a yellow line like this. All the way across. Like so. Oh, hang on, this one. Like so. And then just add a white wall. Uh, one, two, three, four, five high all the way across. So I'll use world edit for this bit. So a wall five high across like so. Uh, set cords like that, and there's our front wall. And then for the sides, we want to build a line of blocks along the side, along the top of the white line, uh, yellow line rather. And it's going to be 248 blocks. That's 248. Hopefully it will go right this time. So put the first block there, <laughs> and we want a line of 248. So that's the first block. I won't bother counting out. I just measure as I go along. So 248. And there'll be windows at the end as well. So. Everything should all be hunky dory dandy. You okay, B? Mm hmm. Good, good. Thank you. Welcome. Now we just carry on like this. Oh, Mr. Mont. So, how far is that? That is 136. So, still a way to go. Probably building these big ships. They're so damn long. Are you building a huge ship? Yeah, Titanic deal, of course. Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. 211. Hold on, I wanted 248, yeah, 248, okay, so carry on. How far is that? 229. <sighs> How far is that? That is 249, so I've gone one too far, and there we go. There's our 248, as it says at the end of the pink sentence, and then increase that to 5 high, so 2, 3, 4, 5, and then build that 5 high all the way along, so I shall do that quickly. And what I'll do, I'll do a quick copy paste to the other side just to save a bit of time. Tra -la 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 -la, tra -la 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 -la. So let's make that down that side there. So we'll just do set quartz again. And there we go. That's that all done there. And that's how this should look. So what I'll do now, I should put a centre block on this front wall because I've not, not done that. So this front wall that we just built, I'm going to put a centre block in. Just there. I think that's centre. And what I'll do, I'll just copy that side wall over to that side. So just quickly copy, flip to the right, and then paste. Like so, and there we go. There's the wall on the other side. So that's two walls, 248 blocks long, and five blocks high. Six if you count the yellow line, but there we go. That's those bits done there. So what I'm going to do now is go to the back end of that. And you want to going to add two sets of windows. Um, and we'll go to the end... I'm on the left side, so I'll start that in. With the windows, we want uh, rowy, rowy. We want four windows. There's four windows, two blocks high. So one, two, three, four like that. So four windows, two blocks high, with a uh, space by one, and then put the spaces in between, and then two lines or three lines of blocks over the top, like so. And then after that, those four windows, you want a gap, a white gap of seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. 
and then build that to the same height as the rest of the white wall. Like so. And then after that you want a line, or not a line, but you want a group of eight windows. So I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight windows like that. And at the end of that you want a gap of two blocks. So one, two, like that. And then we want <laughs> put the pillars in between, and then yeah, so the window like that, and then put three line, three block high line of white across the top, like so. And there we go. That's those windows done there. And I do the same on the other side. I'll do a quick copy, uh, yeah, copy paste, just to save a bit of time. Like so, and I'll just quickly stand here and do that. So, copy, flip, and then paste. And there we go. There's the windows done on that side. And that's that bit done there. And then what we're going to do now is at the end of where those windows were and this white two-block white wall there with yellow, we're going to build inwards. Um, so this would be the end of the superstructure. We want to build inwards uh, eight. So in yellow, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. And then we want curving back. I think it's seven rows of two. So we want uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Do the same on the other side. So we want eight inwards so in yellow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. I'll just double check that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then seven rows. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I believe we want a line after that. I don't know how long do we want it. We want a line of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a center block to mark the center, like that. There we go. That's how that bit should be there. And then what we want after that is to build a wall after that five high in white, I think. Or is it? I just gotta go check this one because I think it's slightly different to the other side. Or to the side, so I think the back end is four high in white. Uh yeah. Because on the prototype I built the yellow two blocks high, but really it should only be one, so I want to build the white wall on top of that yellow line to four high. Cut it slightly lower than the side, so we go one, two, three, four like that. And build this all the way around to the other side so it's oh, nothing special but it's just basically just marks the end of the superstructure and what I'll do I just do one side and then copy it to the other side I'll, I'll go up as far as the center line So, so that's up to the center like that and that's how it should look and what I'll do I'll quickly copy that to the other side I know I, I did say I'm going to reduce the amount of world edit but because this ship is so big I thought screw it I'm going to use world edit so there we go that's that bit done there so we just copy and then flip and then paste to the other side and there we go there's our wall done there and that's the back end of the superstructure and that's the sort of I think that's the stern uh, well deck I'm not sure if it's that's what it's called but you know um, and then the last job we want to do is from this back wall here you just want to add the deck and this will go all the way to the front of the superstructure so along the top of the white at the back here we'll add the deck and when you get to the outside edge the deck will be one block below the white as you can see so the, the white is one block higher but the deck stays the same so you just want to build this whole deck from the back here all the way to the front so I shall do that in, on, in a jump cut because it does take a long time so just carry on doing that and uh, the deck should be okay so I shall do a jump cut and I shall return in just a moment so uh, back in the home okay back again so there's the deck added and the ship should look something like that <laughs> nothing special but that's the way it is so what we're going to do now is one of the worst jobs available is to add a line of well groups of windows if you look on the prototype over here 
underneath the overhang on the deck, you can just see there's groups of windows, there's twos, there's threes, there's fours, and it's going to be all the way along the side there. So what we're going to do is work on the left side, it's going to be the same on both sides. Um, I'm going to go from this front block here, this corner block, and I'm going to count back to the 20th block back. So it's one from that block, so that's the first block there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Then we'll add a two gap, so two blocks high, like so, and it's a two two uh, two spacer like that. And then <clears throat> after that, we want one window, two blocks high like that. And I'm going to be adjusting my notes as we go along. So that's, th that's one window, and then we want a three gap, which is one, two, three, and white, two blocks high. And then we want two windows, one window, two windows, fill in the gap. And then we want uh, a three gap. So it's one, two, three, two blocks high, and then four windows. One, two, three, four. Fill in the gaps like so. And then after that, we want a three gap. So one, two, three, two blocks high. And then we want two windows. Um, one, two, and then fill in the gaps. And then we want a three gap again. One, two, three, two blocks high, and then two windows. One, two, fill in the gap. <coughs> and then we want another three gap. One, two, three, and then two windows. Like that, fill in the gap. And then we want uh, three windows, uh, three gaps, sorry. One, two, three, two blocks high, and then two windows again. One, two, fill in the gap. And then just adjust my notes because my paper clips falling off and then we want uh, a three gap again so one two three two blocks high and then we want four windows one two three four fill in the gaps like so and then after that we want uh, a three gap again one two three two blocks high and then two windows let's fill in the space and then again we want a three gap one, two, three, fill in the space, and then two windows, one, two, fill in the space, and then after that we want another three space gap, one, two, three, and then two windows, one, two, fill in the gap, and then after that we want another three gap, one, two, three, and two windows, one, two, fill in the space. And then after that we want four win uh, three space sorry three space and then four windows one two three four fill in the space like so and then after that we want a three gap one two three two blocks high and then two windows one two two blocks high in the middle and then after that we want another three gap one, two, three, two blocks high, and then two windows. One, two, fill in the space. And then after that, we want another three gap. One, two, three, two blocks high, and then two windows again. One, two, and then fill in the space again. And then after that, we want another three gap. One, two, three, two blocks high, and two windows again. Fill in the gap, and then these are just my notes because I'm getting lost. So how many windows is that? Should be four pairs of twos. That's one, two, three, four. Yep, that's fine. Then we want another three space. One, two, three. Two blocks high. And then four windows. One, two, three, four. Fill in the gaps. And then another three gap, I think. So that's one, two, three. And then two windows. And then a three gap, one, two, three. And then two windows. That should be one, two, three, four. Yep, so it's be four pairs of windows, but with a three gap. So that's two pairs already, and then another three gap, like so. And then two windows. Fill in the space, another three gap, one, two, three. Plus two windows, one and two. Fill in the space, like that. And just bear with me while I adjust my notes, because the paper clips come off. <coughs> okay, honey. Mm -hmm. And I can't get the paper clip free to Okay, that's on. So after that, we want another three gaps. So one, two, three. 
like so. And I know this is very boring, but we're getting there, so it's three space like that. And then we want four windows. One, two, three, four. Fill in the spaces like so. And then we want uh, the same sort of process again. So we want another three gap, like so. And then four pairs of windows. We want a pair, one, with a space of three. That's one pair of windows, and then pair number two, and a three space. Pair number three, with a three space, and then pair number four, like so. And then we want another three gap, one, two, three, and then we want four windows, one, two, three, four. Fill in the gaps, like so. And then after that four, we want another three gap. One, two, three. And then two windows. So one and two. And then we want um, a three gap again. One, two, three. And then we want four windows. One, two, three, four. Fill in the gaps again. And then we want a three gap again. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we want three windows. One two, three, fill in the gaps, and then after the three windows we want a two gap, like so, and there we go, that's all the windows in place, and thank oh god that they're all in place, because there are a, there are, well, there are a lot of them, um, if you're familiar with the previous Titanic tutorial and the Britannic tutorial, it's exactly the same designs, so you could have just copied them, uh, so that's those windows in place, and after that you should have, on this on this section alone, just this long line here up to where it joins that next section, you should have 33 blocks um, just along here, so I should measure that, so it's the first block there and it should be 33 up to the end of this one section and there it is, so it's 33 blocks to there and that's absolutely fine. Great, so that's those windows added and what we want to do then is from the last window, or from the last row of two here, just basically add a line of white blocks across the top of all the windows all the way to the first section at the front end so just add a line all the way along like so and then you've got to do the same on the other side so I'll do a I'll do a jump cut when I do that but I'll just add this line all the way along the top of the windows like so and have another quick look it's best to look at the prototype to get the windows if you can see them and they're under the overhang there so you can see all those windows where the crosshairs is that's where they are there so I just carry on with this line all the way to the front end I would well edit it, but I'll probably screw it up, so just bear with me on this one. Am I near the end yet? Yep, near the end. Oh, just gone too far. There we go, so there's our windows done with the line across the top. And it should look something like that, so that's one side done. I shall do a jump cut now while I do the other side and then we shall move on, so uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again, so there's the windows done on both sides and it should look something like that. Um, what we're going to do now is move on to the front wall of the superstructure. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going down to the centre block here on the front and we're going to go to the, uh, I think it's the fourth block, no, fifth block back, so on the wood, five, black, uh, five back, so one, two, three, four, five, and I'll put a coloured block to mark the centre like so. And then this front wall is going to be 37 wide, so that is, uh, I think that's 18 other sides, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 that way, and 18 the other way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 that way. I just measure it to make sure it's 37 because my maths are not that brilliant. There we go, 37, Aww. that's how it should look. Um, and then what we want to do is increase that. So actually, don't bother increasing it just yet. We're going to sort the sides out. So the sides after that front, we want to build the sides 14 back. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then out 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. So there we go. So I do the same on the other side. So 14 back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then five out. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. There we go. And then what we want to do then is the front wall. We want to increase that to. Uh, 
if I increase the front wall to six high, so two, three, four, five, six, like so. So the front wall only, the side walls we'll worry about in a minute, but increase the front wall to six high. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to weld edit some of this, so build it six high. I just I will weld edit it. So six high all the way up to the side, so six chords like that, so six high like that. And then same the other side, like so. So six high like that. And that's how that should look. And then the front walls, uh, the side walls, sorry, the side walls going out to the side like that. Uh, you want to build them to uh, four high. So two, three, four, all the way down the side. Like so. And then out to the side like that. Like so. So they're four high like that. And then do the same on the other side. So the side walls here, four high as well. So, and it should look like I say something like that. And there we go. So, we're going to do now is from the front wall, which is six high, the the top three rows, so there, there, and there, you're going to build them out to the side, and they're going to be seven out. So, from the top, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, that's from the top, and then the two rows underneath do the same, so seven out, like so, like that, just to create the overhang of the promenade deck. And we'll do the same on the other side, so top line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next two rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then underneath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like that. And then um, what we want to do then is the sides. Um, all three rows. You want to build down the side. I'll just do the bottom row for now. But the sides you want to build down the side. 257 blocks. That's 257. So I put the first block there and I measure it as I go along. So that's the first block. So I want 257. And this will go alongside that top line that's on top of the windows. You can see it attaches like so. So I'm going to build 25, what's it, 257? Yep, 257 all the way down. So this may take a while. Tra -la 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 -la. You okay, Annie? Uh huh. Love you. Love you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 257 all the way down. La -la 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 -la. <sighs> you okay? Yeah, my elbow's just aching. Oh, okay. Take a rest, honey, take a rest. Oh, keep leaving blocks behind. So how far though? That is 222, two, two, so nearly there. Oh, so there we go. We've gone to the end of the overhang there. So the overhang, uh, the, the side windows is 228. So I want to carry on up to, what was it, 257. Yeah. So just keep going. Like so, hang up, missed a few. So that's 257, that's 261, so I've gone too far. There we are, 257 up to that point there. And that's the bottom line so far. And then what we want to do is build inwards. Uh, so 257 and build inwards six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And then the next two rows, just build it three high, all the way down the side. And this back wall here, which is six inwards, you, want to, you only want to make that two high, because there'll be a handrail on top of that one. But the rest of it, all the way down the side, build that to three high. So do this all the way down, and I'll use well edit again just to save a few seconds or a few minutes because it does take a long time and it's such a long ship. Like I say, this side wall just increase that to three high all the way down, and then everything should be hunky diddly dory in theory. Down to that, and then we add set corks again, and there we go. That's that all done. And it should look something like that. So that's one side done. I'll just quickly f fly to the back end. To make sure it's okay. Um, so like I said, that's the sides are three high. Um, and then the back end is uh, two high. So when we come to add the deck, the deck will sit in this gap here. Like I said, and also will sit on top of the, uh, the line that sits on top of the window. So that's where the deck will go. But we'll worry about that later on. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to do another jump cut when I do the other side of this because I want to make sure I do it right. So um, I should do that and then we should return in just a moment. So back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the other side done and it should, in theory, look something like that. Ship's definitely taking shape but not looking too bad. So that's, like I said, that's the overhangs done. So what we're going to do now is fly to the back end of the ship. 
and sort out the inside walls there. I'm going to scratch my head a second. And we're going to go right to the back end of the superstructure where the, um, the, the deck sort of diagonals outwards like so. And we'll go to the centre of that. And I'm going to put a centre block on the front, uh, on the back here, like that. And we're going to build a wall on this line. Uh, this will be where the, the two windows go. Everyone knows what the ship looks like. We know there's two windows here, so that's that. And from there, we're going to build a wall which is 13 wide. So that is um, seven either side. So you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that way. And one, two, three, four, five. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven that way. There we go. And then we want to go the sides forward. We want to build them. This is on the left side here, so it's the same on both sides. We want to build forward 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like that. And then we want to go out 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then forward, uh, forward 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then out 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like that and then we want to build forward uh, 35 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 and at the end of the 35 you build outwards 1, 2, 3, 4 like that to, uh, to create the corridor and then what you want to do is go back to where the overhang come uh, comes back inwards again. So you've got the overhang here on the outside and you've got this row of six. So you want to go from that row of six at the end, build down to the foundations like so, joining them like that. And then everything forward of that inside this area here, you build the walls to four high. Like so. And just build this whole area four high. I said it may take a minute, bear with me. side done there and then across the front like that so but that's the inside wall done four high and then the back walls everything behind this area you want to build this area to five high so two three four five like that and then five high all the way back around to that center block and then you do the same on the other side so I just do this like so to five high I'll do it as quickly as I can bit of well editing as well down the side. Just the corpse there we are and then up to the centre. Like that down to there. Centre more there. So there's half of it done. That's one side done. So what we want to do then is just copy this to the other side. So that that same design. So I'll, I'll lay the foundation. So what's it was 13 wide so this is the half of it. And was it 14 wide? So one, two, three, four. 13, 14, 14 oh. forward, sorry. Oh. Three again. <laughs> Just 14 and then out 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then forward 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then out 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then forward 35. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and then out, five, out 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. And it's the same process as before. From those pillars, uh, from this row going inwards, build down to the foundation, like that. And then everything forward of that, build to 4 high. Everything behind that, up to the center, build to 5 high. And then that should, should all be okay. So I should do a quick jump cut when I sort that. And then bear with me, and then we'll move on to something else. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So that's that side done, and it should look something like that. Looks quite good, in my opinion. Um, before we add the deck, we're going to just top, uh, tidy up some of the details. So if we go back down to where the corridor is down here, what we're going to do, where the. Uh, the upper, where the, well, where the line is above the windows, if I just squeeze through this gap, so you've got this line above the windows, just here, there's the window there, and you've got this line 
oh, damn it, get under there. So you've got that line there, just ends there. You can extend this line all the way to the back where the rows of six curl in, because these are going to be attached to the pillars. There'll be a pillars in this area which will attach top to bottom to these lines. So just increase this line, just a single line all the way to the back end, like so. And then do the same on the other side, from here down to the back end, like so. It needs, it, it, this, this section is needed because when you add the pillars it needs something to attach to so that's what that's for and then we go back to the front end as well and we do the same there <coughs> so go from that line just extend it forward to the front wall so I can get to it down here so extend that all the way forward just a single row like that and then do the same the other side like that and then when you come to add the deck, the deck will sit on top of that line and be a support for it, so the deck will go in that area there like that. I won't add the deck just yet because we're going to add some doors and windows. So where we are, we're at the front, so what we're going to do is on the side walls, we're going to add some windows and doors there. Um, so just put the usual random shit designs, just put window, 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 like so, and then a pair of doors at an end like that. So that's that side there. So as it's four or five windows there, do the same the other side. So we go one, two, three, four, and then five. And as per usual, this is just by random design because I don't know the full details of the interior, so I'm just doing the random stuff. If you don't appreciate it, then you know, do your own thing. Um, and then across the front, I don't know how they are on the real ship, so I'm just going to do the random again. So if we put sort of three or four windows like that actually make it five mm, make it six I suppose it doesn't really matter because actually it does look a bit cluttered so if we reduce that down I don't, like I said I don't know what they are on the real ship but what we might do is increase it to a four gap so there's one window there and then another window and then a four gap Add another window and then a four gap again to for a window there. So there we go. So I do the same the other side. So I put a window there, a window there, and then a window there, and the last window there. And there we go. There's our windows across the front. And then for the windows at the back, we we'll just fly to the back end again. <sighs> I wish I set a warp for this because it's such a long way to get from one end to the other. So it's the same same process again on the inside here. So you've got the inside corridor here. And we'll put a door again at the end and then windows every other block. And I'll, I'll, like I say, it is just random because well, I'd say Titanic 2 is sort of fictional because A, it doesn't exist, and B, yeah, well, it's sort of 50 50 because the designs exist, but the real ship does not. If you know what I mean. But there we go. So there's windows there. And we'll leave these side walls for a minute. We'll go to the back wall here. And we've got to add that those two big windows. So I go from the centre here on the back wall. And I think out two blocks. And then we'll add a three block high, two block wide window like that. And it's a bit smaller than I did on the previous ship, but it's more accurate, I think. So there we go. We've got two big windows like that. There, there we go. So there's windows there, and then the sides, as usual, just add the usual um, windows and doors and things like that. Nothing special. And then put a door there. I know some of these things may be different to what you want to do, but it's entirely up to you. And there we go. There's our windows and doors added. Like I say, they're all random, so copy them as you must if you must and what I'll do I'll do a quick copy and paste of that um, from there down to the back end down to that center block there why would I oh I see I know what so I copy to that so we do copy and then flip to the right and then paste and there we go there's our doors and windows on the other side and it should look something like that. So that's that area done there. Now the last job for this deck is to, well, add the deck. So if you're from the back end here, the deck will go on the top like that. And if you're on the sides, 
the deck will sit in this groove just here. So basically what you want to do is just go from the back end and build the deck all the way forward and then everything should be fine. So I'll do a jump cut when I work uh, when I fill that in. And then we move on to something else. So uh back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the deck all added and the ship should look something like that. Got one more deck to go on, which would be the uh the boat deck. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the uh, inside wall, so let me hiccup in. So we're gonna the inside walls, and we're gonna go to the front wall of the superstructure here, and we're gonna go on the centre block. And on the wood, we're going to count back to the seventh block back on the wood. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to put a marker there. And this front wall is going to be uh, 35 wide. So that's 17 either side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That way. And the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And I just measure that to make sure it is 30, what was it, 35 wide. So it's 35 like that. Marvellous. And then the sides, we're not gonna we're not gonna bother with any of the intricate details. Uh, we're just gonna do straight walls. So from here, we're gonna build down the side. We're gonna build a line of 237, so that's the first block there. And we want a line of 237. So I'll build it freehand. And then we'll go from there. So 237. La, 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 la. Big ships breathe, they're so fucking big. It takes ages to get from Are one end to the other. Yeah, it takes ages to get from one end to the other. <laughs> so that's two, two, three, seven we want. Da -da 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 -da. How far is that? That is one, three, seven, so another hundred and go. I could have used a stack tool, but I thought better of it. That's how far is that? That's 201. 231. 32. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. That should be 237. That's 237 there. There you go. So that's that line done there. Do the same on the other side if you have to. And then from the end of the 237, you want to build inwards 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then uh, back 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then inwards eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put a colour block to mark the centre, and I just go back to the back of the ship to make sure that it's in the centre. And that is, there we go, that's one half done. And what you want to do is increase that to four high. But what I'll do first, I'll just put the foundations of the other side in. Actually, no, I won't, no, I won't. I'll do the other side in a minute. So what we want to do, like I say, is increase this to four high. All the way around. So I'll do while that it's in while I can. So once again the decks will sit on top of this wall and everything should all be fine so I've missed a pop. So there we are, so that's one that's the back end done. So I just do the side, so like I say it's four high all the way around. And then we'll just copy it to the other side. So down to the front there. Use the set courts again, really set courts, set courts, set courts. There it is. There we are, there's the sides done there, and then do the front wall. May as well do a full length of that. Like so, so there's the front wall done. So what I'll do now, I'll do a quick copy paste to the other side, so from the bottom, do the other side. So like I say, it's the same both sides, so like I say, I'm just doing one side, and then I'll just copy it across. So there's a lot of farting around. Um, <laughs> down to the back end here. And we'll do the usual copy, flip, paste, and there we go, that's both sides done, and not nearly done, there you go, and that's that, that's that all done there, and as before, like we've done in the previous deck, you can start adding your doors and windows, um, you know, like, like I did under there, sort of a pair of doors and then a dozen or so windows, it's up to you how you want to do that, because like I said, the detailing is very minimal, so just add the doors and windows the way you want, so that's that's the inside walls there. So what I'm going to do now is go to the front and we're going to add the side windows of the promenade deck. Um, so we're going to the front wall. And I'm going to do a quick jump cut again because it's starting to lag. So bear with me, just do another jump cut. 
Right, okay, back again. So what we're going to do is the side windows on the promenade. So we, well, like we did on the previous deck, we'll go to the front wall, uh, yeah, the front corner of the deck we're on. So this front corner here, we're going to count from this block here to the uh, 17th block back. So that's one there. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Then we add a two pillar by two pillar high by two blocks. So it's basically a spacer of two blocks like that. And then after that we want windows. We want twelve. Hang on, we want, yeah, we want twelve windows. So it's uh, not in group. Well, I think two groups rather than in twenty groups. So we put twelve windows spaced by one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, like so. Followed by a three gap, so three spacer like so, and then I just add the gap between, add the, or fill the gaps between the windows like so. Like that. So there's our first twelve windows, and then after that you want thirty-nine windows. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So there we are, there's our 39 windows. And an awful lot of them, so there's 39 windows like that. And then after that you want a two gap like so and then fill in the gap to one in between like so this is a rock pain in the ass doing this oh shit too fast at making mistakes. There we go. So there's our windows all filled in with the gaps. Been, I can't see very well but the windows are all filled in with the gaps. And then on top of the windows you want to add two lines going from the back end here. There goes Brie again. So I want two lines of white blocks across the top of the windows from the back end to the front. Like so. so I want this to be two blocks high. So, like that, and then add another one on top. Like so, there we are, there's our windows added there. The reason I've not done the pillars is because, well, I want to do them in another video, but we'll extend the deck in a little bit. But there's our front windows added like that. And it should look, well, you can't really see, but they look, should look something like that. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick jump cut when I sort the other side out and make sure they're all lined up. And then, uh, let's return in just a moment. Okay, back again. So, there's the windows on both sides, and they all do line up fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, so, it should look something like that. And what we want to do now is to go to the back end of those windows again, and we're going to extend. Um, well, the upper deck basically is all, all the top line of the window so where, where the windows end amidships so we're going to extend the two top lines so these two top lines here we're going to extend them to the back of the ship and they're going to be a line of um, 124 so I'll do the bottom one first so I want a line of 124 so I should measure as I go along so 124 and like I said we'll double it when we get to the, at the end so just build this all the way along and then the pillars will be added as well. I've not decided whether to use quartz blocks, wood fence, or uh, end rods. I did use end rods on the prototype, so I'll probably carry on using those. In my opinion, they do look better, but everyone's allowed their opinions. Uh, so how far is that? That's one, two, two. So we want one, two, four, wouldn't it? So one, two. There we go. So that's one, two, four there. And it says at the end of that pink sentence, and then just double that all the way along. I do it freehand. So, oh, there we go. 
it. So there we are. There's those two bits extended there. And like I say, in this gap, top to bottom would be where the pillars go. But we'll add them later on. So what I'll do, I'll quickly copy these, these two lines to the other side. So then we can start adding the uh, the back end of the deck. Um, so like I say, I'll just quickly copy this to the other side. There's only two lines, so it won't take too long. Um, so if I go to the back end here. And go up a bit. So I do copy. And then flip. And then paste. And there we go, there's those two lines added. And that's that the end of the deck there. So what we want to do now is at the end of these two lines we want to build inwards. We want to build inwards 11. So I'll go from the bottom. So I go in 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then uh, sides 8. So back 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then inwards 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Plus a colour block to mark the centre like that. And I do the same the other side, and then I'll do the bottom line, or the top line later on, or in a minute. So at the end, like that, we want to go in 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then it was back 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then inwards 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Up to the centre block, like so. And then, what, like I say, just double that in height, so two blocks high, all the way around. Should line up fine. And there we go. There's the back end of the deck done there. And then what we're going to do is fly to the front end now and just sort out the front of what will be where the bridge overhang will go. The bridge deck thingy. Well, what's it? <coughs> da, 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 da. And down to what we're going to do. Get under the front wall of this inside wall. And on the centre block here on the top, we're going to add seven blocks of wood. So we'll go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus a centre block at the end, like so, and that should end on the over the overhang should end on the end of the deck below, like that. And then for this front wall, we're going to increase it to um, seventeen wide. So that should be eight, eight, eight either side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that way, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that way. And then after that, curving back in, curving back towards the ship, we want to add a line of four. So one, two, three, four, and then three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four, and then five. One, two, three, four, five. Make it six. I think I got that right or wrong. I don't know. So is it four, three, 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 and then four? I'll just go to the prototype and measure this. I know it does change shape a little bit compared to the other, I just want to make sure I got, got this right. So it was four, three, 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 and then four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it was six, sorry. Yeah, my fault, it was meant to be six. <coughs> so that was right, so it was 17 wide, and then it was four, three, 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 four, six, and then you just build back to connect to the top line of the white blocks there like that. And then uh, what we'd do, we'd go to the other side and do the same. So it was four, one, two, three, four, four like that, and then three, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then six, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, and then back to connect to the white blocks at the back there, like so. And you should have the front overhanging like that. And then what you want to do is go underneath and then add the same again all the way down to the front like that and then around the front curve like so because of course if you're familiar with Titanic this would be the front of the bridge where all the business happens so let's just add this all across the front like so and then down the side like that and then there we go that is what I'm going to do for today structural wise the last job to do is to add the deck there will be another wall to go on the top but we'll add that in the next part but what we want to do now is just add the deck so the deck will sit basically where this line of blocks is so just carry on filling the deck from the front here all the way to the back and then uh, that'll be that complete so what I'll do I'll do a quick jump cut while I fill the deck and then uh, I shall return so uh, back in a moment 
Okay, back again. So there's the top deck added. The boat deck added. It should look something like that. All marvellous and done. Marvellous and done. And uh, the ship's not looking too bad. Definitely got the look of Titanic-esque, if you know what I mean. And uh, not looking too bad, like I say. So that's that job done. We've got three decks done today, plus the stern and the forecastle. And not looking too bad. Um, I will do the doors and windows on this inside bit between now and the next part, so that'll be all sorted out. But apart from that, everything is pretty much okay. And we'll leave it at that. So that is part, I think it's part three of this tutorial done. So for part four, will probably be the top deck houses and the pillars and things like that and we'll um, see how things go from there so this is Rich and Bree signing off logging off and disappearing over to you Bree this is Bree signing off logging off and disappearing and see y'all in the <laughs> next video yeah. see you on 8 everyone see you all in part 4 so uh, bye for now